Hi guys, it's Marlo from Wild Food UK. Uh, it's August the 24th today and I'm in Herefordshire. We've been out picking some lovely wood mushrooms. Our Agaricus silvicola. We've already done a, a nice video on these though, but growing in amongst them um, is, oh, were a bunch of lookalikes, which I haven't done a video on before. So I thought I'd introduce you uh, to them now. I should really have done this video quite a long time ago though, because these are a pretty common mushroom. And they're these ones here. So this one looks quite a lot like this nice one here. Look at that, it looks a lot like a young wood mushroom. The wood mushrooms, if you watch my other video, you'll see that they yellow quite easily. Um, but that is not a wood mushroom. There's a very, very easy way to tell that it's not a wood mushroom if you examine it closely. I've got a few of them picked here already. You can tell they're not a wood mushroom because they've got white gills. These examples here also have the papery remains of the vulva that they grew from, which puts them uh, firmly in the Amanita genus for me. We've also got a skirt on the stem, which means that they are potentially in the dangerous side of the Amanita genus as well. The grisettes are Amanitas with no skirts and most of them, if not all of them, are edible. But the skirted Amanitas, and we've got three different examples, we think here, of Amanitas, all growing very close to our wood mushrooms. Now, this one here is a very good example of the false death cap, Amanita citrina. Of the Amanitas, they tend to have the biggest, most bulbous base. Quite often the base is even more bulbous than the, uh, the cap, depending on the growing conditions it goes through. As you can see by the one I showed you at the beginning though, you don't always get the vulval remains on the cap. But as with all the Amanitas, you've got those white to off-white gills. Now this looks incredibly like the Destroying Angel, but not quite as much as this one here, which you can see is much paler, with the same very bulbous base, skirt on the stem, and white gills. Now, this is the false death cap, and this is the white false death cap. Amanita citrina and Amanita citrina var alba. Both incredibly common mushrooms with a really lovely, simple key identifier. So if I smell these, there's the Citrina, yep, yeah, and the Var Alba. Both have a very distinctive smell of raw potatoes. Now this other one though, only has a very faint smell and I can't quite get raw potatoes. You can see it's a damaged mushroom as well that's dried out, which makes this very hard to identify in the field. You can see that the, uh, the vulva wasn't quite as bulbous as it was on the, uh, the false death caps. So growing beside our false death caps, this is potentially a true death cap, Amanita phylloides. I'm not saying it is for sure. I'm saying that this one is one that I cannot ID in the state that it's in at the moment. Now that's important because some people consider this one, uh, and it is an edible mushroom when cooked, the false death cat. Uh, you don't want to eat them raw as with any of the edible Amanitas, um, but when cooked, you can eat this mushroom, but beware because this, potentially deadly little fungus looking very similar with very similar characteristics could potentially be one of the deadly amanitas so we do not recommend eating the false death cat but we certainly do recommend eating your wood mushrooms 
very tasty lovely smell of really sweet aniseed and a, and a lovely flavor to go with it the only thing i'll say that the wood mushroom has against it is it's uh, probably the most fragile of all of the agaricus species that we go foraging for which means if i pick a wood mushroom i eat it on the same day they really don't have very much shelf life anyway there you go don't mistake your false death caps for your wood mushrooms and uh, if you want to find out more go to wildfooduk.com